everybody, it's Bay Queen Mini here, and we are back with another episode of Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Rags to Riches. Um, last time we left off, Nadine was just going to bed. I have cut that part out for you guys. But look, she actually got a full night's sleep. Her energy bar is actually full. Shout out to her cats for um, finally behaving and listening for not waking her up in the middle of the night anymore. But she does, she decides to go back in there and read the Reader's Digest for some reason. But she really needs to go use the bathroom. <coughs> Excuse me, that she apparently forgot to flush last time. So I'm going to have her use the bathroom. She can use the bathroom and then she can clean the litter box. Um, Sprinkle, she doesn't need you to watch her. <coughs> like... Oh, what is happening over there? Somebody's gonna, it's, I hope that's not cinnamon gonna get sprayed by a freaking skunk in that bush. Oh no, that's not it. That's not sprinkles. That is dog. Is that dog? No, that's Isaac. Isaac, you were just here. Watch your owner's gonna bring you back for smelling like smelling like skunk. Um, nothing too much and nothing else didn't happen while we was away. Cinnamon actually did defeat a squirrel, finally. And she has to pay her bills yet again. But luckily it's only fifty eight dollars this time. Okay, you feeling the bowl with the hand behind your back or okay. If if that's what we're going to do. I probably shouldn't have filled all the bowls because I wasn't sure if I wanted her to start another day, um, another clinic day today. Her pets are asking for some attention. Sprinkles really want some attention. You didn't put her down? Did you do it? She wants you to hug her. Like, love on your kitty. Oh God, Spring Cinnamon. Cinnamon just got sprayed by a skunk. We're gonna have to give her a bath. They both probably, can we give cats baths? We can feel the love, yes, please feel the love from Sprinkles. Get those aspiration points. You know, I guess we can't give the cats a bath, so why do I have one? I honestly don't remember why I have a bath. Maybe we were considering getting the cat. I mean, a dog? I have no idea. Did we borrow somebody's dog? Still no idea. <laughs> but for some reason, we have that. I think I'm going to take the cats to the park. And that way, we could, like, maybe get some food from over in the stands. And, like... I don't think we can train the cats or whatever, but maybe I can find <laughs> hi Roman Roman is in my lap you guys so <clears throat> we left no we're not joining because we don't even do art or anything no art no music I guess we technically don't have to leave our own lot to come over here and get some food I was hoping to find some uh, um, catnip bushes though I want to see, like, maybe soon start dabbling in her making her own um, pet foods. I was thinking that maybe that's a thing that we could do. Like, now I don't, I, I don't think you need catnip and stuff for that, but I know, I think that there are, like, treats and stuff that we can make using the catnip. I'm not sure I need to check into that. But in the very least, maybe we could just sell the flowers or something. I don't know. Experiment. See what they do. Look at these cats. She's dazed. JJ needs to be seen by a vet. Give some food to JJ. Cautious introduction. We haven't met JJ before. I don't think she has time before JJ like disappears on us. Who are you talking to, Nadine? Johnny Zest. I haven't seen Johnny Zest in a while. He doesn't look happy to see you sitting next to him. He couldn't look like, why the hell are you sharing my bench? I did not say you could share my bench. 
that's what he looking like right now like um please get away from me you look like you haven't Dogs bathed in three that, days aga, aga. she has johnny she <laughs> took a bath last night sir she just only has one outfit because you know she doesn't have very much money oh my god stop screaming we all know that you're here stop screaming like we can see you you're right in front of us Johnny didn't want to sit next to her no more. <clears throat> Look at you looking like a big toe. Hair all pulled to the back. You need look like you forgot to put on a bra with your halter top this morning, sis. At least your shoes kind of match your outfit, though. And you ain't wearing that bum-ass highlight that everybody seems to like to wear. Don't you got freckles? <clears throat> I kind of want to give you a makeover. Maybe another time. I am going to start doing townie makeovers and giving my Sims more of an alpha CC look that's kind that I kind of like um, over Max's match and just you know revamping the neighborhood so we're not looking at the same basic Sims anymore. <clears throat> I am sorry for all the throat clearing. Still just kind of getting over my cold that I had, and you know I just had cereal. Which doesn't entirely help with all of that. But, um, I was really hungry. Okay, stop playing on the phone. I don't... Uh oh Roman has a call. That's okay. Okay, so... Let's... Can we talk to any of these cats? I want to find, like, a guy cat for our girl cats to freaking mate with. Barrels. Barrel a boy cat? We need some boy cats. Roman, do you want to see the boy cats? He looks like he might be male. There's really no way to tell until you actually freaking meet them. Let's see. Barrel's female. Okay, Barrel. Praise the cat. At the very least. <laughs> you want her to see you want to see the cats, Roman? Roman didn't really want to go back to sleep, which is why he's joining me for today's sessions of YouTube recording. <laughs> Normally the babies are asleep. Is this a boy cat? Ew, he looks disgusting. I can't have you made with somebody that's sick. Like, can I just examine you? Because you look really, really bad. I can't. Oh, maybe I, I can after she greets him. It's just, Cash is whining now. Can you greet her? Him or her and, like, see if we can, like, cure them? Because that is disgusting. That poor kitty. And it's a stray. Budge. Budge is a cat. I, I want a boy cat. No, okay, what are you doing? Don't go see what's happening. I don't care what's happening. Tell me it's introduction to the cat. Where are you? I don't even think there's nothing happening on your own, on, on your vet lot. You just ran over here for some reason. Who is that? Beryl is following us. For some unknown reason. I guess she's going to get some food. Cinnamon. We see you, baby. We see you. Hi. 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 Goodness. Cinnamon is a little worrisome today. Okay, but where did the cat go? I don't know why I just did that. He left some smelly poop. The poop even looks sick. And then he ran off. He or she ran off. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. But they ran off and I wanted to help them. Okay, she's. I guess she's able to go find them now. Pippo. Is Pippo a, a boy or a girl? I'm only finding girl cats. I want a boy cat. My cats are have been in heat for a while. Did you say hi to the cat? Where did it go? I guess he left. Yeah, because it doesn't look like she was able to meet him. Pippo. Say hi to Pippo. 
Cinnamon will be fine. Just say hi to Pippo. Let's see if Pippo is a boy cat. Cinnamon will be fine when she gets to mate with someone. How about that? <clears throat> Friendliest introduction. Boy or girl? Male. Yay. Okay, brush. Um, you can be super friendly to this cat. Play with him and um, talk to him. And we're not going to adopt you, unfortunately. We just want to see if you will get our cat pregnant. So she's going to do all of that. Oh, we can feel the love, but cinnamon... I guess we can do it anyway. I don't know. Feel the love from Cinnamon. And then encourage to mate with Pippo. Well, you didn't even finish talking to Pippo. Is Pippo leaving? Where are you going? I hate how they just let them walk off. I didn't... You're not even good enough friends with Pippo to be able to do that. Oh, we are friends, but it probably won't work. And Pippo is leaving or not settled or something because she can't move. It's okay, Roman. Hey, you got it? Yeah, okay. Roman said he's okay. Um, uh, we could play with her. Play with Cinnamon, maybe. Is she gonna leave? I don't think she's gonna leave. Nope, Cinnamon just wants to leave. I don't know why they never use their beds. Like, they put the pet beds in the game, but I feel like I hardly ever see them, like, using their beds. They just go to sleep on the ground. And yeah, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, yes, I have a CC bed for them, but... I don't really think that they do it with regular beds either. Taco, look at Taco. Taco looks like Trixie from um from Perfect Date. If you've been watching my um, Twitch live streams, I've been playing this um, game called Perfect Date. And Taco looks kind of like um, one of the cats that's on there. It's called named Trixie. I think we're gonna go out. Let's see if we can call a friend. She's her her friends. Her best friends are her pets. Unfortunately, <laughs> we don't want her to be cat lady. Just a cat lady. We want her to have some fun. Have some friends. Yeah, she needs friends, right? Have a good time. And since she's been getting called out by Kelsey a lot, look, here she is. Would you like to? Yes, we want to come over and hang out. I don't know if this is a great idea to go to Kelsey's house because Kelsey has kids. Kelsey has twins, I believe. She does have a cat too, though, so she takes her. Oh, she said she would like to come over. I thought she was inviting us to her house. Did you just, like have a bad interaction with my cat what did my cat do to you enthused about cats um friendly asked about a day do an impression who's she gonna do an impression of she don't seem to be friends with that many people but i guess you don't really have to um be friends with someone to do an impression of them so we're going to do that, and I think we're going to go, maybe, like, go out dancing or something. We've tried sending her to a couple of clubs. We've tried going karaoke. Did we try karaoke with her yet? I don't know. I think we went to a festival, a couple of festivals. Maybe we'll go somewhere, and, and she can go and... um try some karaoke she needs she needs some fun she needs to do something fun that she will enjoy kelsey seems like she could use like some karaoke i really do like her outfit but those shorts are super cute yeah she's super into she's super tense she's super duper tense 
Okay, but could you like not play on your phone and just get off the toilet? Oh my goodness, y'all like almost like real people just sitting on the toilet playing with your phone. I never even opened up these stacks of feathers. We're gonna open them just because, just see what's in them. And then we're gonna go. Definitely not another bird statue, but definitely, but still a lot of different feathers. Um, travels. Well, since she's over here, we're going to travel if I can find her. Here she is, Kelsey. We're going to travel with Kelsey. Okay, don't break while you're loading. I was worried it wasn't going to work for a second. Um, What if we go to... Let's go to the museum. We haven't been there yet. This one is for... For Chase Seagulls for a pup, the adventurous pup. And that's back where our home lot is. But I kind of want to go and see what the museum is all about. And isn't the the um the the pet graveyard on this island too? I know that there is one. I haven't seen it myself yet. So that would be something nice to check out. Let's see. Oh, okay. So they got a nice little statue. Seems to be, um, like, um, been to her really quick to help with the tense, the tense feelings that you got. Like, tell her what's going on in your life. Like, I've been, like, poor. My back is hurting from sleeping on this ground in this tent all the time. I just finally got my pets to stop waking me up. Jasmine, Jasmine could use a makeover. I like her style though. I gotta find something. When I do edits on Tony Sims, I try to just like update their style and not change them entirely too much. How about you come in here and view some art? Y'all can look at the art together. Look at the ship with the red sails. Ooh. Spicy. What is that one? That look kind of like like a like a older version of like maybe like the Titanic or something. That's a really cool boat. <clears throat> Fun fact about me. For a while I was gotten had gotten a little bit obsessed with the Titanic because um here at my local museum, we actually, they actually featured the, um, the Titanic's, um, museum exhibit. It's a special Titanic museum exhibit that was, like, traveling around the, um, the world, probably the whole world. I know it's definitely making a tour through the U.S. And I had the pleasure of going, and it was just so interesting to me that I kind of became obsessed for a little while. I still have not seen the full movie. But, you know, I was actually going more into, like, the factualness of the Titanic. You know, all of the facts and whatnot. And it was actually pretty interesting. And I really did enjoy looking into that. I have a natural, inquisitive mind, so I'm always, like, trying to figure stuff out and, like, wanting to learn more stuff as much as I can. So that was a cool experience. And that was right around the time, too, where... Um, it was like the anniversary, so they was like playing the documentaries behind like the first time they found it, and they was playing the documentaries of them like trying to figure out what really happened and why it sunk the way it did and why it went down so fast and all of that. Somebody was up here painting. I'm Anaya Jang. Anaya Jang was up here painting. It's like it's just bathrooms up here. There's no, no art up here in this museum. I guess you come up here to have some solitude, look out the windows, maybe. It's a nice building, though. So, yeah, and actually, recently, in case you didn't know, they've actually solved the mystery of Titanic um, going down, and they actually 
you know, act, they know what really, really happened now. It's no longer speculation. They figured everything out, and they know what was the cause of the Titanic sinking so quickly. I wonder if we should have Nadine's, like, fishing, like, doing other things, like, not even just to get more money, because I've already said that. Oh, wait. Travel to the coast. Would that take us back to the watching place? Whatchamacallit place? Or is that... Is that a ghost pet? <gasps> that is. Is it a, it's a, it's a dog. Wait a minute. Cause we just met a pet named JJ or it's just saw a pet uh, named JJ. That's not the same one, is it? JJ was a cat, right? I don't know if we ever got to actually meet that one. Okay, we haven't met that one, but. Look, it's a ghost dog. Oh man, I never seen the ghost pets. Is he howling, or is that coming from somewhere else? No, he's not howling. It's coming from somewhere else. Kelsey wants to chat with us, but we want to see the ghost dog. Is she coming? Where is she? There she is. Meet your first ghost pet, Nadine. Now she's just fine. I know. For meeting a new friend. I, I kind of love that. Can you play with the ghost pet? Is he sad? He was just sad for a second. Oh, no. Hopefully playing with us playing with him makes him more happy. It sucks to have to be sad in the afterlife, too. I think I kind of encourage misbehavior. Oh, because he's a troublemaker dog. That's funny. Never seen that one before. That is hilarious. He's energized now. We are both energized from playing with each other. From her interacting with the dog. What is this? Is this cat? Wild catnip. Harvest. Harvest the wild catnip. It's just one lone bush out here. It's like it would be like a nice... I don't know if this is... A, well, I guess not. It's not a lot. Like, this could have been like a nice little... Um, That's wild bluebell. Like, just some, like, a nice place for like some benches or something like that. This big open space. This would be a good place for you to go and play with your pets. <gasps> the the graveyard. What is this? Madnip. Let's harvest the madnip. Oh no, the graveyard, you guys. <gasps> you can hear the oh no, the ghost cat. Look at the ghost cat. Where is she going? Where are you going, Cole? You're just gonna sit up there? The friendliest introduction. I don't know why we're doing this, but we're meeting ghost pets. This seems very interesting. I wish we could actually like go into these buildings. I remember on The Sims 3, like even though it's a rabbit hole, they let you like go and explore the mausoleum. And you get like prompts or whatever, kind of like you do when your sim goes to explore space here on The Sims 4. And I thought that that was like a really cool addition. I wish they had done something like this, like that for um, this game. I mean, I guess they kind of did with the space and then all the, you know, the secret worlds. The secret worlds are really cool. Did she speak? Did she? She did speak to the ghost cat. Oh my goodness. Can you talk to Cole some more? Give catnip treat. <gasps> oh, look. Madnip will make your cats enraged with pure anger. Catnip will boost your cat's energy, making them insanely hyper. I don't want to try it on a stray cat because we're not going to be here much longer. But I would love to try that on our own pets. You can ask it what's wrong, but I don't think that will really help. How are you going to brush a ghost pet? I guess the same way you interact with it any other way. Oh no, it just looks like he's he's in mourning himself. Is that your grave, little kitty cat? Is that your headstone? 
this low key makes me a little sad because I remember we had we used to have a family pet. It was a dog, um, and he passed away like just before I graduated high school. Okay, we're gonna go home now. Kelsey's probably pissed at us for leaving her. <laughs> we left her back at the museum. But hopefully, I think that was a successful trip for Nadine at least. Hopefully her fun is a little higher. Maybe next time we'll do a little bit more. I wonder if Kelsey is about to come back home with us or if she left the museum on her own. But Sims will straight up do that. They'll be like, uh, bye bitch. And won't even say nothing to you. Oh goodness, I always click home instead of the whatchamacallit block. But you know what? This is actually not a bad idea because I want to add pet care stuff to this to our home lot just so that when Nadine does go out like to a club or somewhere that I don't really want the pets to go with her. I'm having some um, loading issues today. When she goes places that I don't really want the pets to go with her, then this way she will be able to like go alone and I can just actually use the send home option. I can actually use the send home option and um, you know have them actually come home and they won't have to stay with her because and you know they'll still have their needs taken care of because if I use that option now it will bring them home but there's nothing here for them to you know like be taken care of with so they would just you know probably freaking run away and I'm actually I don't think the automatic feeder would probably work if we're not here and it costs so much money Hmm. I wonder if it would like technically still work though I guess we can try it Let's just go with the black and red one. And I now need to transfer more money so that they can have pets. I didn't expect to, to buy an automatic feeder. Um, maybe we get them small pet houses or maybe a pet crate. No, that doesn't cost enough. I usually try to stay away from, from the CC stuff, especially during the Rags to Riches Challenge, because it doesn't cost all that much. Maybe we can get these because $35 doesn't seem like a, a, well, that one comes with the bold, bold thing attached to it. And I don't really want that, I guess. See, I would, I would get the small pet crates, but it's only a dollar. Like, why is it only a dollar? I feel like that's kind of cheap. I'm going to get them a litter box. We got the automatic pet feeder. And maybe we get, oh, that's a small one. Maybe just get them some small pet beds. There you all go. Some pet beds y'all can sit right next to each other. I want kind of, maybe I should get y'all a scratching post. We don't even have a scratching post at our house. Down at the vet clinic, I mean. I think I'm going to go and try and get one of those for us now. And then maybe like um what do cats play with do cats play with balls i i don't imagine they would and then a couple of pet toys there y'all go okay so now y'all can live we're gonna fill that set schedule time it's every six hours right now um i guess we, we can live with that and I know they was probably bored. They're like, we've never seen this before. What is this? Is this a toy? Mommy, you haven't bought us any toys since we've been with you. We used to play with all kinds of fun stuff when we were strays. Look, and they still don't use the bed. They just choose to sleep on the ground. I don't understand it. Hug them. And then feel the love. We need to feel the love, what, five, five times? I guess it wasn't successful when we tried to do it with cinnamon earlier. Yay. All right. So we're going to bring, we're going to all go back to the vet clinic now. And I think I'm going to end this part here. Um, 
as we're as we're loading back into the vet clinic. Um, next time we will probably do more vet clinic days, more days with, at the clinic, trying to get her some more money so she can do you know you spend that on a few more upgrades, get the place looking in a little bit nice. Maybe I'm thinking about hiring another another vet just so maybe we can possibly open the clinic without Nadine needing to do anything right away. And, um, yeah, just, you know, upgrading the clinic is, is what's next on my list. That's that's what I feel like she needs to do next. She has gotten her fun up, and, like, now she's going to bed. She's going to get her rest for the night. And, um, yeah, so I'll see you guys. Okay, what was that? That was like a cat nap, though, Nadine. You, like, you didn't even, you didn't even sleep, sis? What was that? You spoke, you said, oh, okay, Nadine. We're going to leave Nadine and her non-sleeping self um, to her business. Apparently, she's part of the X-Gang, and, you know, X-Gang does not sleep. <laughs> so, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell for our videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.